Chapter 5. Christmas Day Reflections. Christmas morning dawned crisp and clear, the world outside blanketed in a pristine layer of snow, reflecting the early morning sun. Inside the Parker home, the atmosphere was one of peaceful reflection, a stark contrast to the previous night's festivities. Emily, though weary, woke up with a serene smile. Today was not a day for sadness. It was a day for celebrating the beauty of life and the love that surrounded her. As her family began to stir, the smell of coffee and cinnamon rolls filled the house, a comforting reminder of so many Christmas mornings past. The family gathered for breakfast, a quieter affair than the previous evening. Conversations were soft and meaningful, interspersed with moments of comfortable silence. After breakfast, they decided to take a walk, wanting to enjoy the winter wonderland that had enveloped their town. Bundled up in warm coats and scarves, they stepped out into the crisp morning air. Emily, supported by Anna, walked slowly, taking in the beauty of the snow-covered trees and the laughter of children playing in the distance. This walk was more than just a physical journey. It was a walk down memory lane, a chance to relive and cherish the simple joys of life. As they walked, Emily shared stories of her childhood, of snowy adventures and Christmas miracles. Her family listened, captivated by her words, each story a precious gem in the treasure chest of her life. Returning home, they gathered around the fireplace, sipping hot cocoa and basking in the warmth of the fire and each other's company. Emily looked around at her family, her eyes reflecting the flames but also the deep love she felt for each person in the room. In the afternoon, they sat down to Christmas dinner, a feast lovingly prepared by the family. The table was a picture of abundance, not just in food, but in the togetherness it represented. They shared the meal with laughter and heartfelt conversation, each bite a celebration of the moment. As the day turned to evening, Emily felt a sense of profound contentment. This Christmas, perhaps her last, was a poignant reminder of the beauty of life and the power of love. She realized that her legacy was not in material things, but in the love she had shared and the lives she had touched. That night, as she lay in bed, Emily whispered a silent prayer of gratitude. She had lived a life full of love, and this Christmas had been a beautiful culmination of that love. As she drifted to sleep, her heart was full and her spirit was at peace, wrapped in the love of her family and the magic of Christmas.